afternoon good evening depending on the time zone this moment we bless the name of the lord and we welcome each and every one of us to this time of prayer hallelujah to the lord we begin this day to sing and to praise our father in heaven so join me as we sing immortal invisible god this morning hallelujah invisible God, the only wise God. We adore you, our Father, our Lord, this morning. We bless your holy name. We say thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Our Lord and our God, we worship you. We are gracious Father, we adore you this morning. We say glory, honor, and power be unto you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Let us worship him and adore him this morning because he's a mighty God, the I am that I am, the unchangeable God. Father, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you for you are not only a God of justice, but also a God of deep compassion. Lord, we adore you. Thank you, Father, for your understanding, for your understanding understanding knows no bound. Lord, we thank you for you are ever above and beyond us. And Lord, yes, you show your love to us. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Oh, Father, we thank you for your holiness. We thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you for you are the righteous one. Yes, Father God, we adore you. We thank you for truly we say, oh Lord, that you are the I am that I am. Just as you declare that in John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus said to them, 
truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, the name I am is the name which caused the Jews to, to seek your death. Though through it, you reveal that you are God. You are before the foundation of all time. You are the creator of all things. We adore you. Because as God, you did not remove yourself from the day in and day out experiences of your creation. Rather, you, the great I am, join us in it. Hallelujah be to your name. Immortal, invisible God. We thank you for you boldly proclaim your deity to ears and hearts that refuse to believe you. Yet their rejection only led to the greatest display of your deity the death and resurrection of sinless God for sinful humanity. We adore you, Lord. We praise you this morning, Lord Jesus. The I am who was, he is, and will forever be. Thank you. Lord Jesus, we confess that this name does not get the attention from us that the way it should. You are the great I am. You are creator, healer, ruler. You have gifted us this experience of life. Yet, we often go through our days without paying you the attention you deserve. We are sorry, Lord Jesus. We are sorry. Forgive us for the pride that causes us to somehow think this is okay. You are the powerful I am who deserves our highest honor and praise. And yet sometimes we barely drag ourselves to church or we simply flip open our Bible to mark it off our list. We do not deserve to have the opportunity to speak with someone as high as you are. Yet you patiently wait for us to do so each and every day. Forgive us, Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask for your forgiveness this morning. And we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for revealing your nature to those who will least expect. As you walk this earth, you kept it hidden from the people who taught themselves to be wise. Yet you let a Samaritan woman in on who you are when you spend some moment with her around the world. We read it in John chapter 4, verse 25 to 26, that the woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming. He who is called Christ, when that one comes, he will declare all things to us. Jesus said to her, I will speak to you, I'm he. You told her, I am he. No fanfare surrounded your words. No attention seeking platform set them up. You spoke with an obscure woman from an enemy tribe. And when she caught on to who you are, you lead in as if telling her a secret that I've been wanting to shout out from the highest mountain top. I am. Thank you for the immunity and approachability. You have wish you allow to know Allow us to know the great I am. We thank you this morning. Lord Jesus, may we give you the honor that is due you. May we know you as closely as the Samaritan woman or matter to whom you also reveal the name I am as recorded in John chapter 11 verse 25. Lord, we ask that you give us the opportunity to discover what it feels like to have you lean over to us and remind us, I am. Whisper that to our ears this morning. Lord, many of us need to hear you say that word to our hearing this morning. I am. I am in every situation. You are, Lord. Help us to feel the calm rush over us as we realize that the one who made it all, 
the one who knows it all, the one who controls it all, and the one that has made himself accessible to us at any moment in time, and that he loves us. Oh, Lord, let our hearts receive it this morning. Lord, this is our prayer. Lord Jesus, the great I am. We want to hear you in such a way that makes you smile. Let everything that plug our hearing be removed this morning. For you are, I am, ever present, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah be to your name this morning. Glory, honor, and power be unto you this morning. Because you will answer your name. This name I am in our life, in our situation. Answer your name, Lord. Answer your name as the I am. For those who are sick this morning, answer your name. For those who are having one body, not the other. Lord God Almighty, answer this name in their life. You know every one of us that is present before you this morning. Answer this name of yours in our life, in our situation. I am. I am. Thank you, Lord. For you are ever present ever present thank you lord for you show your faith yourself you are we're not going to be afraid no fear because i am is with us blessed be to your name hallelujah we continue to pray and this morning let me quickly read For us, we're going to at this hour of prayer. There's a passage in John chapter 4. We know this story the story of the nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. And when he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The noble man said unto him, Sir, come down here, my child died. Jesus said unto him, Go the way, the son leave it. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. And he went on his way. And as he was now going down, a servant met him and told him, saying, that son leave it. Verse 52. I want us to pay attention. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, The son leave it. And he himself believed and his soul out. Hours. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. As I said, I want us to put our attention on that verse 52. Then he inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. This morning is an hour that you must experience in your life. This, the enemy does not want you to experience that hour. If that hour does not come, your story will remain the same. And this hour we call it the hour of amendment. So every hour of today, take it that this is the hour of my amendment. This is the hour of my restoration. I begin the hour now. As it came for this nobleman and his son, may it come for you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. So pray this morning that Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the hour, for this very hour of amendment. 
Lord, I thank you for this hour of amendment. I thank you for this morning because this morning, this day, Lord, is the hour of amendment. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank God for his power to amend situations. Thank the Lord that just as this noble man come to the Lord, that I have come to you, Lord, this morning. Either I bring my son or I bring myself that need amendment this morning. Lord, I bring anything that is at the point of death in your life this morning. Bring it to the Lord. Bring it to the Lord. And let him know that, Lord, come. Come and amend. Come and heal. For this thing is at the point of death. My business, my career, my marriage is at the point of death. Lord, come and amend. Come and amend. Tell the Lord this morning. You see, let, because we're not seeing Jesus in the physical. He's here with us. He just say, I am. He's ever present. Bring your body to him this morning. This noble man, be a noble person, a wise person. This morning, bring your body to the Lord. You know it, I don't know. But talk to the Lord this morning. That Lord Jesus, this is the body. My son, my daughter. This is the situation. This is the challenge that I'm facing. And I thank you for the situation Thank you. Thank the Lord for the situation in your life that he has amended in the past. Look back. Look back. Look back. This man remember that there was a wedding one time in this city that Jesus Christ was present in sort of disaster. It changed the situation. And I know it will change my situation. Remember what the Lord has done in the past. Either in your life or you've heard about it in the life of someone, in the situation of someone. Remember that he has changed. He said, I am this morning. I am said to us this morning. Remember. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord that Lord. Make this hour of prayer and hour of amendment in every area of my life. Father God, make this hour of prayer and hour of amendment in every area of my life. In every area of my children's life, oh Lord. Make this hour an hour of amendment in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every unbelief in my heart disappear this hour of amendment in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every unbelief in my heart disappear. You know, what I just told us, the man believed the word that Jesus has spoken unto him. And he went his way. Let every unbelief in my heart disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Every castle of doubt in my life collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. Every castle of doubt in my life collapse, collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. In this hour of amendment, every castle of doubt in my life collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that Father, amend my faith. Let me become a firm believer in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my God, I made my faith and let me become a firm believer in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that Lord, whatever I have been crying to Jesus about, let this hour become its hour of amendment in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I have been crying to Jesus about, let this hour become its hour of amendment in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every problem in my life, 
After the order of the fever of the noble man's son, I command you to leave me this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe, pray it with your whole heart this morning. Either in your life, in the life of your son or daughter, in any your family, this morning. Every problem in my life, after the order of the fever of the noble man, I command you to leave me this hour. Leave this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Every problem in the life of my children after the order of the fever of the noble man's son i command you in the name of jesus christ leave my children this very hour this very moment for i believe i believe that the i am is present with us this morning and i've laid my complaint my body upon him therefore every problem in my life every problem in my family every problem in the life of my loved one this morning after the order of the fever of the noble man i command you live now at this hour live in the name of jesus christ whatever is sick in my life like the son of the noble man let you receive healing this hour in the name of jesus christ whether my marriage my business my career anything that is sick in my life at this hour like the son of the noble man let you receive healing in the name of jesus christ anything whatever is sick in my life in my family whatever is sick in the life of my children uh, like the son of the noble man let him receive healing this hour in the name of jesus christ pray, pray that whatever is close to death in my life like the son of the noble man let him receive life this hour in the name of jesus christ for the i am the lord jesus christ is with us this morning whatever is close to death in my life whatever is close to death in the life of my children i like the son of the noble man receive life this hour receive life this hour in the name of jesus christ Whatever needs amendment in my spiritual life shall be amended before this hour is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Whatever needs amendment in my spiritual life shall be amended before this hour is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever needs amendment in my life, in my children's life, in my family, in my business, in my career shall be amended. Before this hour is said over in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, miracle of amendment upon amendment shall not depart from my doorsteps in the name of Jesus Christ. Miracle of amendment upon amendment shall not depart from my doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father Lord, this morning, every evil power blocking me from seeing my hour of amendment i command you to be paralyzed in the name of jesus christ lose your power in the name of jesus christ i bind you lose your power in the name of jesus christ pray this morning every power blocking me from seeing my hour of amendment i cry against you this morning lose your power become paralyzed in the name of jesus i bind you in the name of jesus Christ. pray anyone that come into your hand if you are binding be binding if you say lose your power lose your power this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ every evil power blocking me blocking my children from seeing the hour of our amendment i command you in the name of jesus christ lose your power lose your power over me over my children lose your power in this household lose your power in the name of jesus christ pray that father let those around me see me seeking you for help begin to see me delivered in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let those around me who see me seeking you for help begin to see me delivered in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father because they will witness my testimony in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let those who, who see me seeking you for help Begin to see me delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be deceived. Some are just coming on this prayer line to know those who are coming to pray. Let them see, let them hear, oh Lord, your deliverance of your people in the name of Jesus Christ. 
everyone around me who see me seeking you who see me coming waking up every morning coming to pray or lulu looking for you everywhere father lord let them hear let them come and rejoice with me let them see your deliverance i am that i am immortal invisible the only wise god let them see your deliverance in our life. Let them see your deliverance in our children's life, Lord. In this ministry, let your power be made known. Let your glory, Father Lord, be made known. Be glorified in our life. Be glorified. Answer this, your name. I am, I am, I am. I am. Mm, that is the same name you reveal to the children of Israel when you want to deliver them from the hand of Pharaoh. I am. Lord, this morning, from every bondage that we find ourselves, show yourself, reveal your name, answer your name as the I am. Come for your people, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. Before we continue our prayer, let's go to the Word of God this morning. We're going to read from Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs 15. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings ruin. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but the hearts of fools are not upright. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. Stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path. The one who hates correction will die. Death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more do human hearts? Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hatred. A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisers they succeed. A person finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good is a timely word. The path of life leads upward for the prudent. To keep them from going down to the realm of the dead, the Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he sets the widow's boundary stones in place. The Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked, but gracious words are pure in his sight. The greedy bring ruin to their households, but the one who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous weighs its answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. 
Whoever heeds life-giving correction will be at home among the wise. Those who disregard discipline despise themselves, but the one who heeds correction gains understanding. Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. Proverbs. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the hearing and reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want us to focus on just one chapter or two this morning. And that is the first one. The power of gentleness. It says a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stir up anger. Anger. Speech has the potential to quiet a riot or to find the ember of anger. Have you ever tried to argue in a whisper? It is equally hard to argue with someone who insists on answering gently. gently. On the other hand, a rising voice and a harsh word almost always trigger an angry response. Try it with a child. If you raise your voice with that child, when they are going to respond, they will respond to you in anger. And this is to anyone. You go to the grocery store or to any store and you ask the waiter in an arch voice. Um, they will breathe. Some of them will breathe before they answer you because they maybe they don't want to answer in that way. It's a natural response. A gentle way or word is the way to respond to a threatening situation. The word gentle means soft, tender, or delicate. That means it means a tone, your tone. We should be gentle in tone of voice. The tone of voice. Term choosing and non-verbal communication that accompany our speech. A soft return causes it to turn, but a word of pain causes the nose to go up. The power of gentle Good humor's word is often wonderful in subduing angry passion. Why those which, which are sharp and cutting are apt to exert them. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 15 verse 1 that we just read is one of those programs we all need to memorize that it may be in our hearts that we might not sin against the Lord with our tongue. Just as it is said in Psalm 119, verses 9, it said, How can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your command. I am feeding your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. I encourage us to write it down on a card today, asking the Spirit to write this precious word on our hearts. Remembering that out of your mouth comes that which fills your heart. Do we remember? The Lord Jesus Christ said that to us in Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. He says this, You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Fill your heart with the good words of God. And then fill with God's good spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is dwelling in you. His supernatural power will enable you to tame your otherwise unattainable tongue. James was right. He said it. 
if we read it, James chapter 3, he said, the tongue is untenable. Let me read it for us this morning to remind us. If we read James chapter 3 from verse 4, he said this. He said, oh, let me begin from verse 3, please. When we put a bit into the mouth of us to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take sheep as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong wind, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spike. The tongue also is a fire. A word of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, set the whole course of one's life on fire, and it is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures have been tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father. And with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing, my brother and my sister. This should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? The answer is no. No. We must ask the Lord to help us. Ask the Lord to help us. See, this chapter, oh, is it, this chapter of passionate temper. It speaks of the grievous word that stir up anger and of the perverseness that break the spirit. If you read it in verse 4, four it said, The soothing tongue is a tree of life. But a perverse tongue crushed the spirit. The same thing is of the contention stay up rot. It stay up rot. This same tongue. Verse 15. A hot tempered person stay up conflict. But the one who is patient comes a quarrel. We need to pray. When we read this, this is what we need to ask the Lord. To help us. We are to be sober minded. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. That gentle words will come out of our mouth. As we open our mouth today. Just remember that a gentle answer turns away rot. We have to be intentional about it. We have to be intentional about it that this day today i will be gentle in the mighty name of jesus let us pray this morning that father i thank you once again i pray that i may take note of the godly and gracious way to speak to others and apply it in my life oh lord Dear Father in heaven, I pray that I may take note of the godly and gracious way to speak to others and apply it in my life. Help me to be careful when responding to the words of others so that I do not promote anger. Help me, Lord, to be careful when responding to the words of others so that I do not promote anger. Pray this morning that Father Lord, help me to turn away any bitterness or wrath with a soft and gentle answer. Lord, I pray this morning, help me. I need your help to turn away any bitterness or wrath with a soft and gentle answer. Pray this morning. Lord, may my speech be a tree of life to others. And prevent me from ever crushing the heart or soul of another through careless speech. 
in the name of Jesus God take control of my tongue Lord I pray help me may my speech be a tree of life to others and prevent me from ever crushing the heart or soul of another through careless speech Lord I pray that my lips spread wisdom and knowledge truth and love Father Lord, I pray that my lips spread wisdom and knowledge and truth and love. Let us pray that Lord, may my speech and language reflect the gracious word that fell from the lips of the Lord Jesus Christ during his sojourn on earth. May I only say and do those things that honor his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, your words say a soft answer, turn away rots, but gracious words stir up, grievous words stir up anger. But Father, I pray that my lips spread wisdom and knowledge, truth and love. May my speech and language reflect the gracious words that fell from the lips of the Lord Jesus Christ during his sojourn on earth. And may I only say and do those things that honor his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is good. We're still going to continue our prayer that we started. The hour of amendment. Today is the hour of amendment. As we come to the to, to, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just as the noble man came. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us tell the Lord this morning that, Father, all I'm asking, Lord, let those laughing me to scorn witness my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, mighty Father God, this is the hour of our madness. I've come to you this very hour, and I'm asking, Lord, those laughing me to scorn, let them witness my testimony, Lord God Almighty, because you are the I am that I am. Let every disruptive plan of the enemy, hey, my against me, blow up in their faces, oh Lord, my Father, because this is the hour of amendment. This very hour, Lord, let the point of my ridicule be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let this point of my ridicule, the ridicule in my life, in the life of my children, let it be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray. Let all power sponsoring evil decisions against me be disgraced. Oh Lord, my Father, let them be disgraced, oh Lord, by you answering your name in my life in this situation. Oh mighty Father, let all power sponsoring evil decisions against me, against my household, be disgraced, oh Lord, by you standing up, oh Lord, and answer your name as the I am this morning. For you are the I am. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every strong God, every strong God of every spirit of Korah, Dayton, and Habiram, militating against me, let it be dashed to pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong God of every spirit of Korah, Dayton, and Habiram, militating against me, against my household. Lord, let it be dashed to pieces this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I pray thee this morning. Let every spirit of Balaam hired to cause me fall after the order of Balaam. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my Father, let every spirit of Balaam hired to cause me fall after the order of Balaam. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Every spirit of Herod that destroyed good things at infancy, let it be disgraced this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am that I am. This morning, mighty Father, every spirit of Herod that destroyed good things at infancy. You remember the story of Herod? Because he doesn't want another king in his stead, he decided, how can another king be that is born? This morning, every 
Herod. That is asking the wise man to seek you out and come back and give report. Or to seek my children out and give report. Father God, this morning, let that Herod be disgraced. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. Every spirit of Goliath. Goliath that is challenging my God. That is boasting. That is threatening me this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the stones of fire. In the name of Jesus. After the order of David. Receive the stones of fire this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us cry out to the Lord this morning. That Father God, let us sit on manipulation. Hey, my changing my destiny. Hey, my changing my children's destiny. Be frustrated. Be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, we bless your name this morning. I am that I am. We thank you because we know you will answer your name in our life. Glory, honor, and power be unto you. Yes, Father, we will be gentle with our words this day, Lord. By your grace, O oh Lord, give us the grace. That words of encouragement, words that edify, words that lift up, words that build, O oh Lord, we proceed forth from our mouth to one another this day, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. As you lay your hand upon our lips, as you purify our lips, Lord, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we go for our intercessory, or wait for our intercessory, I want to remind us the 90 days of reading the New Testament Bible from Matthew to Revelation is still ongoing. Please, please, please read it. And the Lord will bless you mightily. The word of God is life receive life read it and god bless you as you do so and also do not forget to share it with others have a wonderful day we we'll still continue our prayer for intercessory so please wait behind amen hallelujah father we thank you this morning we give you all the praise thank you for this opportunity this morning we are interceding for the single in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Psalm 37, verse 4. It says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your hearts. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to bless your holy name for all of our single ones. Lord, we want to be particular this morning. We want to lift our singles that are yet to be married before you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that these ones will delight themselves in you, O oh Lord, so that you give them their, their desire that align with your own will, not their will, but with your will for them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we worship your holy name this morning. Lord, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you grant this one, your spirit, oh Lord God, so that they know the plan that you have for them, even concerning their marital settlement. Lord, we know that you are a good father and you want what is best for these ones. So Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that every of their desire concerning their future spouses, oh Lord God, we align with your plan and your purpose for their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to read from Isaiah. Isaiah 49, 25. He said, but thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away 
and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is your word, O Lord God. So, Lord, as we lift our single ones, O Lord God, before you this morning, we ask, O Lord God, that you will contend with everything, O Lord God, that is contending, O Lord God, that is contending with their heart, with their mind, with their decisions, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, this ones that their hearts, O Lord God, their mind will align with you, O Lord God. We align with your plan and your purpose for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning. Let us thank God this morning. Because there's nothing too difficult for him to do. That these ones will perfectly match every single one, O Lord God, to that, to that divine spouse that he has made available for each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that the, the, the hand of the Lord will release that man, that woman, that he has preordained for that man, for that woman in the mighty name of Jesus, that wherever they are, that his mighty hand will pull them out Pull them out, O Lord God, of obscurity in the name of Jesus, into the light. In the mighty name of Jesus. That wherever they are, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, eh, that the light of God will pull them out, O Lord God. That that divine match, O Lord God, will come to pass according to the plan and purpose of God uh, for their lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we are asking, oh, Lord God, for that single brother, that single sister, oh, Lord God, that that man, that woman, oh, Lord God, that you have preordained, oh, Lord God, Oh, will be the one that is that is is or a heart that is after you, oh Lord God. The ones that runs after you, the one that does your will, the one that has given is and our life oh heartedly to you, oh Lord God. Lord, this is our wish. This is our prayer this morning for every of our single ones, oh Lord God. That single sister, that single brother. Oh, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that these ones, oh Lord God, will, will marry from their kingdom, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that whatever barrier, whatever barrier that is keeping these ones Either from, from even thinking about it, some are not even thinking about it. They are like, what is in it? Oh, Father, Lord, this is an institution that you yourself, you ordain, oh, Lord God. So, Father, Lord, for as many, oh, Lord God, of these single ones eh, that have had emotional trauma or that are currently in emotional trauma that is keeping them away, whatever these barriers are. Father, we ask, oh Lord God, for healing upon them this morning. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be healing this morning. In the name of Jesus. Emotional healing. In the name of Jesus. Physical healing. In the name of Jesus. Let that barrier, oh Lord God, be broken down in the name of Jesus. Let that barrier be broken down in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, you have not given us the spirit of timidity. For as many, oh Lord God, that are even shy, that they cannot even look up, uh, even to the opposite sex. Uh, oh, Father, we ask, oh Lord God. That you take the spirit away from them in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for spirit of sound mind, spirit of boldness in the name of Jesus, spirit of confidence in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. 
Lord, we thank your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus, let us ask for the help of the Holy Spirit this morning to help these ones uh, in the name of Jesus to bring out that brother that is the future husband to that sister, to bring out that sister that is the future wife to that brother in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit help this morning in the mighty name of jesus oh father lord we thank you we thank you for the power of the holy spirit oh lord god that will fish this world out wherever they are in the mighty name of jesus let us pray against counterfeit spouse for this world this morning in the mighty name of jesus we reject it this morning we reject counterfeit spouse, O oh Lord God, by the enemy for the single ones in the name of Jesus. Let us ask that even as this one waits on the Lord, that they will patiently wait on the Lord, O oh Lord God, that they will be patient in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we ask for patience. Why they wait, O oh Lord God, we ask for patience in the name of Jesus. That they will not be too much in our hurry, oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that they will get the right person that you have ordained for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let patience reign, oh Lord God, in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. We bless your holy name this morning because we know you will bring your word to pass in the life of this world, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you praise, O oh Lord God, this morning. Lord, we thank your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that peace, your peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray for, O oh Lord God, for this ones, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of calmness will be upon them in the name of Jesus. They have that ability to focus and function even in their daily activities in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh Lord God, that in their inner self, they will have joy. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we want to pray for this ones. That even in their marital status that they are, Father, Lord, that they will find purpose in you, O oh Lord God. They will find the purpose for their life in the name of Jesus. And they will walk in that purpose even while they wait on you, O oh Lord God, for that right spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, let them find their purpose in you, O oh Lord God. And walk, O oh Lord God, in that purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray, O oh Lord God, even in their current status, O oh Lord God, that they will be fulfilled, O oh Lord God. They will have fulfillment in you, O oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord God, that this one's will move closer to you, walk closer with you, cover themselves with the armor of God in the name of Jesus so that they can stand firm in the truth of your word uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. So that these ones, oh Lord God, will live a life that is righteous, oh Lord God. Father, we thank you this morning because we know you will lead this one, you will guide them. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be the ones that follow your instructions. Eh? In the name of Jesus. And that they will walk daily with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. 
because their faith will be strengthened there. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise this morning. We thank you this morning. In the name of Jesus, glory be to your name. Honor be to your name for healing that has come to even to these ones. In the name of Jesus, in all aspects of their lives. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning because we know you have heard us and you will answer us concerning the single ones. Glory be to your name. In the name of Jesus. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name.